The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez reprendre vos places. The President, the court the is now in session. Next. The court official, please invite uh, Mr. Craig Etchison to the courtroom. Monsieur Craig Etchison. The Security officials, please uh, take the accused uh, to sit behind uh, the defense counsel. The responsible of the security of the accused has been to bring this person to his place, which is behind the defense. The president, uh, Le president, is your name Craig Edgerson? Your Honor, Craig that's Edgerson. correct. Question, how old are you now? Question, quel âge avez-vous? I am 53 years old, Your Honor. 53 ans, Monsieur le Juge. What is your nationality, says the president? Le président, quelle est votre nationalité? I am an American citizen. Je suis citoyen américain. The president, where président, do you live? Où habitez-vous? I currently, currently reside in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Je suis actuellement résident à Phnom Penh, au Cambodge. Look, me and President, President, what is your occupation? Quelle est votre profession? I am an investigator with the Office of Co-Prosecutors of this Je Court. Je suis enquêteur attaché au bureau des co-procureurs des chambres extraordinaires au sein des tribunaux cambodgiens. The president, le according president. to the record of uh, the greffiers of the trial chamber, uh, you have no blood relation uh, with uh, the parties to the proceedings. Is that true? De parenté avec les parties. Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. Oui, Monsieur le Président, uh, ceci est exact. Look, Craig. The president, uh, Mr. Craig Etchison, in the name of the expert, uh, mm -hmm. you are asked uh, to take an oath. Uh, do you agree to do so? Nous vous demandons de prêter serment. Yes, Your Honor. Vous êtes d'accord? Réponse? Oui, Monsieur le Président. The greffier, please uh, bring the statement of the oath to Mr. Craig Etchison so that uh, he can take the oath. Le texte portant serment à Do you solemnly declare that you will speak the truth, de the whole truth, and not in God the truth? Vous, uh, de dire la vérité, toute la vérité, rien que la vérité. I do solemnly declare that I will speak je the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. La vérité, toute la vérité, rien que la vérité. No. The, president. the president, 
Mr. Craig Edgerson. Mr. Craig Edgerson. Have you studied uh, the the structure of the CPK by way of basing only to the documents? For example, the statute of the Democratic Cambodia. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I have studied the structure of the Communist Party of Cambodia uh, using documents as well as statements of witnesses. The President, according to the findings of your research, can you identify the structure of the CPK now? I can, Your Honor. Um, uh, uh, would the Chamber please uh, assist me in how much detail you would like to know about the structure at this point? Que je vous parle plus amplement de la structure du PCK euh, dès maintenant. The president, uh, Le président. I would like a judge, a civil court, try to uh, respond uh, to this matter. Cartwright, uh, uh, yes, thank you, question. president. Uh, I have some questions for you, Dr. Etchison. Um, and before we move to the structure of the Communist Party of Kampuchea and Democratic Kampuchea, I want to establish your qualifications as an expert. Very well. Dr. Etchison, do you hold Dr. a Etchison, Master of Arts degree from the University of Illinois in Political Science and a Doctorate en in International Relations from the University of Southern California? Yes, Your Honor, that's Réponse. correct. Oui, Madame le Juge, ceci est exact. And in your capacity as an investigator for this court, did you prepare a paper entitled Overview of Hierarchy of Democratic Kampuchea, document D-15? Yes, Your Honor, and I believe that document is on the case file. The ERN numbers for that document in English en are 00146822 to 00146887 in Khmer 00314767 to 00314903 Zero and three. in French, Et en français, zero zero three zero one three one four six three, six three nine three to zero zero, zero, zero three, three one, one four six, six nine eight. Neuf huit. The next question Question's is this. Suivante. Have you held senior academic or research positions at Yale? George Washington and Johns Hopkins Universities since the late 1990s, most recently as visiting scholar Johns Hopkins University School of International Studies, Foreign Policy Institute, Washington, D.C. between 2004 and 2007. De, entre 2003 et 2007. Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. Réponse. Oui, Madame and have Juge, you conducted extensive research, particularly in relation to Southeast Asia en and into genocide studies? De, uh, du et de yes, la Your question Honor. Génocide. Have you oui, also Madame published Juge. widely in question. these fields Avez and in particular concerning the Khmer Rouge period in Cambodia? Cambodia. Cambodia. 
That is correct, Your Honor. Réponse. Have you been engaged in studying the structures of democratic Kampuchea for approximately 30 years? And was your first book on this topic entitled The Rise and Demise of Democratic Kampuchea, published 25 years ago? porte sur la yes, montée et la chute du Kampuché démocratique, Rise and Demise of Kampuché, Democratic Kampuché. Le document versé de C, 4115, 0010-5316-2001053234. In preparing the paper, Overview of the Hierarchy of Democratic Kampuchea, did you draw on your own research and on relevant documents and other publications? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Do you speak Khmer, the Khmer language and can you read the Khmer language? No, Your Honor. I neither speak nor non. read Khmer. So, uh, Puis, uh, by uh, what method did you examine the Khmer language uh, materials? In my research, I examined Khmer language materials with the help of translators Réponse. and interpreters. And I also examined Khmer language materials that have been translated into languages I can read, such as English, French, or German. Thank you. Now, moving to that paper, uh, the uh, overview of the hierarchy of democratic Kampuchea, have you set out in that paper the structure and responsibilities of all organs of democratic Democratic Kampuchea? Your Honor, um, not all organs of Democratic Kampuchea, uh, as is suggested by the title Overview of the Hierarchy of Democratic Kampuchea. Uh, this analysis was meant to cover major structures rather than to be comprehensive. Thank you. Could you list some of the major sources used by you in the preparation of this paper? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, if it pleases the court, I have brought along some documents that I would like to refer to in the course of my testimony. Uh, if I may uh, refer to those materials now. Yes, please do. de la permission. Réponse juge Cartwright. Oui, allez-y. Your Honor, one key source that I will be referring to during my testimony is the 1976 statute of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. The ERN for this document in English is 0082022 through 0018204747 and i apologize that i do not have uh, the french and khmer ERN for the document a second key source is a document dated 30 March 1976 entitled Decisions of the Central Committee regarding a number of matters. The ERN for this document is 001 
In addition to these two documents, in my analysis, I also refer to a variety of telegrams to and from the party center, including messages from zone leaders such as Rosnem, Sao Pim, and K. Pok, among others. I also refer to a wide variety of reports that were written by various organizational units of Democratic Cambodia in the zones, sectors, districts, cooperatives, military units, and other units. I also refer to many different kinds of minutes of meetings, such as minutes of the Standing Committee of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, minutes of the General Staff of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea, and minutes of meetings of the Council of Ministers. I also refer to witness statements and suspect statements. I refer to a variety of publications from the Communist Party of Kampuchea, such as Revolutionary Flag and Revolutionary Youth. I refer to various contemporaneous media reports during the time of the Democratic Kampuchea regime academic analyses. I also refer to a variety of documents from S21, including confessions, prisoner lists, and notebooks that were kept by cadres who were employed at S21. I refer to a number of United Nations reports, several computer databases, and a variety of other sources. Now, um, drawing on that material, uh, and referring to your paper, can you uh, tell the court what the most powerful organ of the party and of democratic Kampuchea was? In theory, the central committee of the Communist Party of Kampuchea was the most powerful organ of democratic Kampuchea. Du PCK était l'organe le plus puissant. Central Committee's responsibilities. Et quelles étaient les responsabilités de ce comité Il s'agissait du comité central du PCK. If I can refer, Your Honor, to the overview of the hierarchy paper. Si je peux faire référence à l'aperçu d'ensemble de la hiérarchie du implementation of the party's lines throughout the country, giving instructions to all zone, sector, and municipal organizations, and to the party organs, taking responsibility for various nationwide departments, and administering and deploying cadre and party members within the party as a whole while maintaining a clear and constant grasp 
on their biographies and political, ideological and organizational stances and constantly indoctrinating and educating them in terms of politics, ideology and organization. And that statement is found at 00146824, paragraph 11. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Where were those responsibilities uh, recorded? Those responsibilities are defined in Article 23 of the CPK statutes. Did the uh, CPK convene regularly? According to Article 21 of the CPK statutes, a party congress was to be convened every four years. According to Article 25 of the CPK statutes, ordinary meetings of the party were to be held every six months. In practice, Your Honor, the first CPK Congress was held in 1960, and the fifth CPK Congress was held in 1978. So, with five Congresses across the course of 18 years, it appears that the requirement in Article 21 of the CPK statute was met by the party leaders. Um, however, while there were ordinary meetings of the party from time to time, based on my understanding of party history, they did not manage to meet as often as every six months for an ordinary meeting. In some periods, uh, Particularly uh, during the periods of uh, war, they seem to meet rather less frequently. Thank you. Now, you said before that, in theory, the Central Committee was the most powerful organ of the party. Uh, did it delegate its duties to any other organ or body? Il déléguait ses pouvoirs à d'autres organes. Yes, Your Honor. Réponse oui. In between party congresses, entre les congrès, the duties of the Central Committee were carried out by the Standing Committee. C'est le comité permanent uh, which was qui était investi des pouvoirs du comité central. C'était l'organe exécutif du comité central. Thank you. Now, in your paper, you prepared a chart showing the command structure of the Communist Party of Kampuchea Standing Committee. Are you able to show that chart now? Um, yes, Your Honor, with the uh, assistance of AV. people. The ERN number is 0014. Six eight two six. Jusqu'à il de la page zéro zéro un quarante six huit cent vingt six. Perhaps you would just quickly lead us through that chart, which is mostly self-evident, uh, but um, the different names uh, at the top of the chart may be of interest. Yes, Your Honor. This organization chart depicts my understanding of the Standing Committee of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Uh, this body was also 
also known as Ankar Lu, Orga, organe qui était aussi uh, connu sous le nom de Ankar Lu, organization. ou organisation suprême, It was sometimes referred to ou as encore the party comme center. le centre du parti, Or sometimes ou referred encore to as the upper brothers. comme l'échelon supérieur. The standing committee consisted of le comité permanent Pol Pot, était composé des personnes suivantes, Pol Pot, qui en était le secrétaire, Nunchea, qui en était who was deputy le secrétaire adjoint, et en 1975, en tout cas, Yingsuri, de Yengsari, Von Vett, Von Vett Sao Pim, Sao Pim Tom Mok, Tamok et Ross Nim, Ross Nim were members qui ont été membres of the standing committee, while Son Sen ainsi que Son Sen and Kung so et Kung Sopal were alternate members qui ont été membres suppléants de la standing committee. Now, alongside some of those names, you have dates with D under uh, Pol Pot, noms, for example, D 1998, which I presume means exemple, that he died Pol Pol in 1998. Could you just tell us the, the uh, indications under Vaughan Vett, Sarpim, Tarmok, Rosnin, Son Sen, and Kung Sopal, please? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, you are correct oui, vous avez raison de dire where I have indicated, for example, que D.1998, this is meant to indicate that Pol Pot died veut dire décédé, apparently of natural causes in 1998. In the case of Von Vett, Dans le cas de Von Vett, where it says E.1978, e, e, this is meant to indicate that he was executed in 1978. En 1978. In the case of Sao Pim, Dans le cas de Sao Pim where I have indicated S.1978, this indicates that He committed suicide pour suicide. In 1978, Sao Pim s'est suicidé en 1978 après avoir while, été blessé uh, an arrest attempt was being made lors d'une tentative d'arrestation par le centre du parti. In Tom case, Quant à Tamok, il est mort de cause naturelle en 2006. In Ross Nim's case, Ross Nim lui a été exécuté en 1978. Son Sen, Son Sen was executed in 1997, and Kung So Paul was executed in 1978. Thank you. Is there any Je other comment Merci. you wish to make on that chart, perhaps relating to uh, Son Sen and Kung So Paul's membership as alternate members? Yes, over the course of the regime, uh, I believe that tard, Son Sen du was eventually promoted to full membership in the standing committee, du comité permanent. Uh, while uh, Kung So Paul Kung so remained an alternate member resté membre until his uh, eventual arrest and execution, son arrestation and arrestation and execution at S21. Thank you. Under the Standing Merci. Committee, were there a number of further organs, each with their organes, own responsibilities? Du comité avec leur propre yes, Your Honor, Réponse there were. Oui, Madame la juge. Um, if it please the court, I would like to illustrate my answer si with souhaitez, je peux uh, another chart that I have avec un autre que également établi. Is this a chart that is already in the case file, or is it new material? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Réponse. This chart uh, est un is in the case file at, um, I can find it. ERN zero zero one four six eight five 
4 Thank 001 46 854 Juge Cotchwright, merci. Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. Excusez-moi, Madame la Juge. Um, uh, this particular chart Ce is uh, not in the case file. Ne figure pas au dossier. Uh, this chart is a summary of my understanding of the structure of the party as it is described PCK, in the statutes of the Communist Party of Cambodia. If you just pause there for a moment, Je can I ask if any party has si any uh, uh, opposition to this new material being used to illustrate Dr. Etchison's evidence? None from the prosecutors? From the civil parties? Parti civil. None, Your Honor. Thank but you. We would be grateful if uh, some copies are available. Madame Juge, mais nous aimerions recevoir une copie de ce document si c'est possible. Copie sur papier, je veux dire. I don't have a hard copy, but I'm sure we can make those available later. Sur papier, mais je suis sûr qu'ils sont à notre disposition ultérieurement. La défense. Même observation, Madame le Juge. Je souhaiterais une copie sur papier et un numéro ERN pour que ce document soit retrouvé dans le dossier. So that we can find this document in the case file. Can I just explain, Maître Rou, that this is a new chart. It is not yet in the case file, uh, but a hard copy can be made available later, not immediately. Is that acceptable to you? Yes, I would like to read the document and when we refer to it, the case file, so that when numéro. we refer to the document, we can have yes. a number. Yes. Well, I'm not sure how that is done, but it will be done. Thank you. Uh, now, there seems to be no opposition to referring to this chart now, Dr. Etchison, so perhaps you could take us through it, please. Yes, Your Honor. At the top of this chart, there is a box labeled Center. And this indicates the previous organizational chart that we were looking at, the party center, or the standing committee, or the central committee of the Communist Party. Below the level of the standing committee, en dessous de ce centre, Democratic Kampuchea was divided into a number of zones. De zones. Each of these zones, de ces zones was governed by a three-person party committee par un comité, composed un of a secretary, du secretary, a deputy secretary, secretary usually adjoint, responsible for security, responsable des questions de security, and a member, et un membre, usually responsible for economics. De, des aspects the économiques. zone secretaries were appointed Les de zone by the standing committee, par le comité permanent. and other members et of the zone committee were appointed de by de the zone secretary zone par le with de the zone approval avec of the standing committee. Du comité permanent. Initially, in Democratic Cambodia, in 1975, there were six zones. The southwest, la zone sud-ouest, the west, la zone ouest, the northwest, la zone nord-ouest, the north, la zone nord, the northeast, la zone nord-est, and the east. Et la zone est. There were also several. Additional areas designated as autonomous sectors, and still other areas known as special municipal regions under military authority, including the capital Phnom Penh and the nation's principal seaport, Kampong Som. 
Later, the autonomous sectors 105 and 505 were incorporated into the existing northeast zone. The zones were themselves further subdivided into entities known as sectors. Uh, the number of sectors in each zone varied, ranging from the sector with the smallest number of zones, the new north zone, which had only two sectors, to the sector that had the greatest number, uh, to the zone that had the greatest number of sectors, the northwest, which was divided into seven sectors. Like the zones, Comme les zones, the sectors were governed by three-person party committees consisting comité de of a secretary, secretary, a deputy secretary, secretary typically responsible for security matters, and a member et typically responsible for economic Sector secretaries les secteurs, in established les zones were appointed by the zone secretary with the approval of the standing committee and other members of the sector committee were generally appointed by the sector secretary with the approval of the zone secretary and the standing committee. However, for autonomous sectors such as 103 and 106, before they were combined into the new north zone, those were controlled directly by the standing committee, and leadership within those sectors was a responsibility of the standing committee. The sectors were further subdivided into districts. As with zones and sectors, sectors, districts were also governed by three-person party committees comité du parti consisting of a secretary, un secretary, a deputy secretary un responsible adjoint, for security, security, and a member un responsible for economic. District secretaries were, generally speaking, appointed by the sector secretary with the approval of the zone secretary and the standing committee, while other members of the district committee were generally appointed by the district secretary with the approval of the zone and sector secretaries. Districts were a key echelon in the hierarchy of democratic Kampuchea because the districts maintained security offices which distinguished between enemies who were to be disposed of locally and enemies who would be sent up the chain of command to higher level authorities. Also, with districts, aussi au we district, have the first correspondence que a in the DK hierarchy la with pre-revolutionary and post-revolutionary political geography in Cambodia. prior to democratic Cambodia, dit, there were districts. Il y avait déjà des districts. After democratic Cambodia, there were uh, district administrative uh, entities, des entités uh, administratives, uh, sectors, and zones were a novel administrative uh, creation of democratic Cambodia. Now, districts 
were further subdivided into subdistricts or communes. Traditionally in Cambodia, communes were subdivided into villages, but in the DK system, villages were combined into larger entities known as cooperatives in which communal eating and work was organized. Other units of organization existed within the communes, such as mobile brigades, local militia, various kinds of work groups. Différentes sortes de collectifs de travail. Communes were governed Les by a CPK par branch committee, un comité, which was the lowest level parti, qui était of the CPK le hierarchy. Uh, Unlike PCK. the structure Au of higher de echelon en place party committees, plus élevés, branch committees parti, typically had more than three persons, commune, plus que trois personnes. although all committee members remained under the authority of the branch secretary. Même si tous les membres de la commune étaient sous l'autorité de, de la cellule du parti. That may well uh, suffice for a description of this organization chart, Your Honor. Yes, thank you very much. Now, uh, I want to focus on the relationship between any of these organs and the accused uh, and S21. So my questions are directed accordingly from this point on. How were the Central Committee and the organs under it established formally? Your Honor, at the first Congress of the Communist Party of Kampuchea in 1960, approximately 20 persons gathered in a house near the Phnom Penh railway station where they devised a political program and elected a central committee of eight to ten members. That central committee then elected a three-person standing committee. After 1960, over time, avec le temps, the size and the composition la composition of both the standing committee and the central committee gradually changed, ont évolué, as did the number and the, the functions of the subsidiary organs organes that uh, were established by the party. Établi, uh, par le parti. The structure was, of course, reflected in the statute to which you have already referred. Uh, was that structure a reflection of uh, the uh, establishment uh, started in 1960, or were there some novel points in the statute itself? Mm. 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 That's a very Réponse. complicated question, Your une question Honor. Très complexe que vous posez, um, Madame. We know that the 1976 statute of the CPK was not the first CPK statute because we have uh, pre-1976 CPK documents uh, that refer to a CPK statute. Uh, however, uh, I have not seen copies of any of these pre-1976 CPK statutes so I can only make inferences about what they may have contained. That said, 
We do have, have 76, a pre-1976 document uh, that specifies the organization of the party Donc, il at the level of communes and districts. Il y a eu and un précis dans du this niveau, document okay. says that uh, it is based on a CPK statute. So, it seems likely that Et the party statutes were revised from time to time to reflect the evolving situation and the uh, gradually uh, expanding span of uh, territorial control that the revolutionary forces enjoyed. Um, as for uh, M13 and S21. Pour ce qui est de M13 um, et S21. Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. No, uh, that, that's témoin. fine. Please go on. Um, non, non, je vous en prie, I poursuivez. would like to know how they were established. J'aimerais savoir effectivement comment ces deux entités ont été créées. I have never seen je any contemporaneous documents aucun document uh, describing contemporain the establishment la création of either M13 soit de M13 uh, or soit S21. De S21. The accused person has testified to the co-investigating judges dit au juge that Son Sen ordered Sen himself lui avait donné and Division 703 Secretary ainsi qu'au secrétaire de la division, division, division alias Nat, Nat to establish S21 S21 in August 1975. Um, given the principles of democratic centralism and collectivism that are described in the statutes of the Communist Party. It seems likely that Son Sen would not have done such a thing on his own authority. Much more likely, he would have been acting pursuant to a decision of the Standing Committee. Il devait agir sur ordre du comité permanent. In his uh, testimony earlier today, the accused matin, was asked about his use of the statute uh, in training at S21. Uh, he responded saying that he did not use it in his teaching. He considered it a barrier to conceal the party line and that he was aware that he could not refer, I assume, directly to the statute. Do you have any comment to make on that? This is a difficult comment Réponse. for me to understand, Your Honor. C'est une observation um, qu'il m'est difficile de comprendre, I Madame la Juge. Should imagine that training of full members of the party uh, would certainly need to include parti, instruction in the statutes of the party. À des so perhaps I just statutes do not understand uh, what the accused person means when he makes such a comment. Dire, he was saying, however, je as I understood it, that bon, he did si not compris, use the statute lui, in his training of S21 personnel. Have you any comment to make on that? Uh, it Asin, may well be that some personnel at S21 uh, were not full rights members of the party. The accused also said in his testimony earlier today that the statute was an internal document and therefore confidential. Is that your understanding of its status? That's correct, document. Your Honor. Uh, oui, exact. The CPK placed a very PCK high value on secrecy, and such secret. a sensitive document as document this, describing the party's structure, uh, would certainly have been regarded as a highly sensitive and confidential matter. Thank you.
Now, I want to ask uh, whether the CPK Central Committee or its Standing Committee uh, played any role in the control of the government of Democratic Kampuchea. I would refer in reference to this question, Your Honor, to a document I previously mentioned called Decisions of the Central Committee regarding a number of matters, which is ERN 001-828-0. Zero zero one eight two eight one four eight one four. In this document, at page five, on peut lire à la page cinq. It says regarding the assembly. The Presidium of the State and the Government. They are the state organizations of our party. On the next page of this document, under a heading, The Government. This document says, must be totally an organization of the party. Thus, this document indicates to me that it was the intention of the Standing Committee that it would have total control over the government. In his testimony earlier today, the accused placed great significance on the document to which you have just referred. Um, can I assume from your uh, comments that you would agree with him that this was a highly significant uh, document? Confirmer qu'il s'agit là yes, d'un document there extrêmement important de par sa nature. Oui, Madame le Juge, certains éléments me portent à croire que ce document est essentiel pour bien comprendre la nature des politiques mises en œuvre Now, par I'd like le PCK. Now, part the standing committee. Question delegated by the Central Committee uh, in effect play, what were its actual duties? The Standing Committee devised policy for all sectors and organizational units of Democratic Kampuchea and monitored the implementation of that policy throughout the country. And um, we have heard testimony concerning Office 870. Can you tell us what part that office played and uh, which uh, organ guided its activities? Office 870 was sometimes referred to by people at lower echelons as the center uh, or as the organization. Sous le titre Although de this centre, may have been a slight misuse of how the party center intended the term organization to be used, um, it still indicates that on a utilisé ce terme lower de manière erronée, uh, mais party, les échelons inférieurs considéraient que le bureau 870 était la source de l'autorité pour le reste du parti. Thank you. 
This document is a minute of a meeting of the Standing Committee du comité permanent dated 9 October 1975. It is ERN 0-0-1-8-3-3-9-3-9-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-
can I assume that the zones had certain security responsibilities in relation to sectors, district parties, cadres, and party members? cadres responsables du district et des membres. Yes, Your Honor. Réponse. That's correct. Oui, Madame le Juge, c'est exact. Article 19 of the CPK statute describes the security responsibilities of the zones. La responsabilité the zone committees were responsible for cadres in the sectors and the districts uh, and were required to closely examine the personal histories of all cadres. Était chargé de suivre, de superviser l'histoire, la biographie and, uh, personnelle de l'ensemble des cadres. Expected to collect, collect information, including personal biographies. De recueillir des informations personnelles, dont les biographies yes, personnelles. Every CPK cadre was required to regularly update a detailed autobiography, uh, which would then be meticulously checked and verified by inspectors. And how were those biographies used? The biographies were used to search for and identify what were known as bad elements, that is, party members who had some flaw in their personal history in their life history, which might indicate that they could be less than fully loyal to the party. For example, if your parents had owned two cows and a buffalo in the old society, then that means you came from a middle peasant background rather than a poor peasant background. And therefore, you were not pure in the eyes of the party. Paysanne de la société, mais que vous apparteniez plutôt à, à la and classe des paysans, à la classe moyenne. Et si cette information émergeait de la biographie, donc ici, uh, vous n'étiez pas pur. Question de la l'autorité en termes disciplinaires vis-à-vis -vis de telles personnes. Again, referring to the statutes of the CPK. Si l'on fait référence au statut du PCK. Article 4, Article 4 of the CPK statutes du, du PCK, concerning party discipline requires discipline du parti, all members of the party to enforce discipline. Uh, Article 19 of the statutes concerning the tasks of the zone committee specifically requires the zone committee to enforce discipline in the zone framework requiert que les mesures disciplinaires soient prises dans le propre cadre de chaque niveau. Question. Have you located any references to executions under zone authority? Des références liées aux exécutions sous l'autorité des zones. Madame le Président. Mr. Roux, uh, Your Honor, uh, excuse Mr. me. Mr. Roux, could we maybe take the time vous avez fini de parler to give, avant que take the time so that the translators ne may uh, translate so that the expert Merci can beaucoup. respond afterwards so that the translation can come through clearly? Thank you very much. Which aspect have we lost so far, Mr. Roux? Uh, the answer to the last question. Uh, perdu quel élément La réponse à, par rapport à la dernière question 
souvent, nous avons un problème de décalage. Donc, si on peut aller plus lentement, ce sera bien. Merci beaucoup. Oui, je m'excuse. Translation, so I don't Sorry, know je when it stopped, but we will try harder. Thank you. Now, uh, Dr. Richardson, could you just um, go back to your uh, the last question, which concerned um, disciplinary? Oh, sorry. Yes, disciplinary authority held by the zones. Yes, Your Honor. Réponse. Oui, Madame le Juge. Article 4 of the CPK statutes des statuts concerns du PCK party discipline porte sur generally, la discipline and it requires exercée par le parti all dans les members lignes. of the party to actively enforce du parti party discipline. En, mettre en œuvre activement la discipline du parti. L'article 19 of the CPK statutes des concerns the tasks of the zone committee. porte sur les tâches des comités de zone qui responsabilité de sécurité et nécessite que les responsables de ces comités de zone mettent en œuvre des mesures de sécurité de discipline au sein dans le cadre de la zone. Thank you. In confessions uh, that you have Je vous remercie. read S21, uh, in confessions that derived from S21, that you have read, were there any references to executions under zone authority? Yes, Your Honor. Réponse. Uh, there are Madame many. Juge, il y en a beaucoup. One example. Un exemple. Is the S21 confession of Chu Chet. Chu Chet. Alias C. Alias C. Secretary of the Secretaire West Zone. De la zone ouest. That confession is dated 21 March 1978 and is ERN 0 0 0 0 0 through 0 0 0 one, un, three, trois, nine, neuf, nine, zero, neuf, zero. In this confession, Dans ses aveux, the West Zone Secretary describes executions in the West Zone that were carried out under West his own authority. Exécuté sous son autorité effectué sous son autorité reprend l'interprète. Um, Thank you. Madame le juge Calvaret reprend. Je vous remercie. Did the zones, the sectors and districts have any powers to command armed units with their own general staffs? Yes, Your Honor. Each zone committee commanded division and regiment sized military units des unités militaires de la taille d'un régiment which were commanded and managed commandé et qui by a general staff était sous based la direction d'un état-major basé dans chaque zone similarly de la même manière sector committees les comités de secteur commanded 
armed units, commander des unités armées, often of regiment size, représentant la taille d'un régiment, uh, which were also generally managed by a general staff. Aussi généralement sous la direction d'un état-major. At the district level, au niveau du district, uh, the, the party committee also commanded armed units, but des unités these units were often unités less formal and moins sometimes in the form of a militia known as the Schlop. Milice, and uh, at the district echelon, de Schlop, et au niveau uh, ordinarily de we would district, not see a general staff structure. On ne, um, on n'a pas pu constater, on ne constatait pas de structure apparentée à un état-major. Thank you. Were the zones directed to take any disciplinary action relating to internal security? Des mesures disciplinaires liées à la sécurité interne. Yes, Your Honor. Réponse, oui, Madame le Juge. All echelons were constantly exhorted by the party center to take action on internal security. Uh, if I may, uh, I could cite some examples from party publications uh, that I included in my overview. Un document Paper. que j'ai intégré à euh, mon aperçu de l'hierarchie du Cambodge démocratique. Please do. Madame Juge Kershwright, allez-y. In the party Monsieur journal Kutchison, Revolutionary ensuite, Flag, dans la revue le euh, November 1977 issue, novembre 1977 issue, which is on the case file at Versé au dossier ERN sous la cote ERN 00 00 00 00 02 00 02 67 67 through a 00 00 00 00 02 77 77 it says and I quote, lire, et je cite, we have been able to sweep cleanly away de balayer et de nettoyer more than 99% d'éliminer plus de 99% of the contemptible major concealed enemies boring cachés, from within. Creusant de l'intérieur. Things throughout the country must be examined like choses. this. On doit examiner et traiter de la même manière à travers le pays ces éléments. Chaque unité du parti doit être faire l'objet d'un examen similaire. Chaque euh, organe, chaque entité, chaque coopérative doit faire l'objet d'un tel examen, d'un tel traitement. L'armée, les ministères et les bureaux étatiques doivent faire l'objet d'un traitement similaire. Fin de citation. A second example, Un deuxième exemple, also from Revolutionary Flag, provenant également de la revue from the May 1978 issue, en date de mai 1978, sous le document inversé au dossier, ERN 00006445. 5-1 through A. 00 00 06 06 This publication Cette revue says, and I quote, et je cite, we must see as key Nous devons considérer the comme essentiel les devoirs the consistant à attaquer l'ennemi intérieur. Ceci est lié à 
ceci s'ajoute à toutes les autres responsabilités. Chaque niveau du parti doit adopter et prendre en charge le rôle de conduire le parti et d'attaquer ces ennemis, les éliminer complètement, les éliminer, les éliminer, les éliminer encore et encore, So that our party forces sans are pure. cesse, de manière à ce que les forces our du parti soient pures, à ce que les forces du parti à chaque échelon, à chaque niveau, times, soient pures end, à quote. tout moment. Fin de citation. Th thank you. Madame Giscard Wright, je vous remercie. What was Son Sin's role in the CPK Standing Committee and in government? Du PCK et au gouvernement. Réponse. If I may, Your Honor, si je peux me permettre, uh, in the juge. overview paper, Dans I have an organization chart which could assist in answering this question. That's the chart at ERN 00146854. That's correct, Your Honor. Um, With the assistance of AV, can we have a look at that? Son Sen's powerful role le rôle Democratic Kampuchea is illustrated by his interlocking positions of authority in the government, the military, and the party. In the government, as shown in this chart, he was the Deputy Prime Minister for National Defense. La Défense Nationale. In the party, as shown in the previous chart of the party center that we saw, he was a member of the Standing Committee. And finally, in the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea, he was chief of staff of the general staff. So, in the army, in the party, and in the government, he, he had a leading role. However, his real authority flowed from his position in the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Position au sein du Parti communiste du Kampuchea. Thank you. And from Madame that Wright, chart, you indicate that the accused, as chair de of S21, reported to Son Sen in his capacity as the Deputy Prime Minister with responsibility for national defense. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor, with um, one caveat. Uh, as shown in this chart, from the time that the accused became chairman of S21 in March 1976 until September 1977, the accused reported directly to Son Sen. However, in September 1977, Son Sen was assigned to go to the east to take direct command of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea 
entre le commandement direct uh, de l'armée révolutionnaire du Cambodge qui était escalating conflict engagé with Vietnam. dans un conflit so, um, sans pire avec that time, le Vietnam. So Donc, à partir de ce moment-là, c'est-à-dire à partir de septembre 1977 jusqu'en janvier 1979, the accused reported directly to Nguyen Chea, the CPK Deputy Secretary. On the case file, uh, you can find confirmation of that fact by examining the cover sheets of many different S-21 confessions that were sent from S-21 to upper echelon. Prior to September 1977, these confessions were typically addressed to Son Sen. Whereas, after September 1977, you can see from notations on the cover sheets of confessions that after that date, they were sent to Nuanchea. Yes, thank you. In his testimony, the accused, as I understand him, said that there were four groups whose orders had to be obeyed. The first group was the seven zone secretaries, then the chair of the committee of office 870, then the standing committee, and then the general staff, namely Son Sen. Do you agree with that statement? To a certain degree, Le témoin. yes, I oui, do. Dans une certaine mesure. However, I would also say that Mais je dirais aussi hierarchical authority was que absolute hiérarchique était absolue in the Communist Party of Kampuchea au Parti communiste du Kampuchea and in the organization of democratic et dans l'organisation du Kampuchea démocratique so that anyone in that organization de sorte que toute personne was required dans cette organisation était requise d'obéir aux ordres et aux directives qui venaient de ses supérieurs, de ses gestions supérieures. Now you have um, mentioned uh, Son Sen's role in the military. Could you uh, expand on the military's responsibilities for security, both external and internal? En matière de sécurité externe et interne. Yes, Your Honor. Témoin. Oui, Madame la Juge. The Revolutionary Army of Cambodia was charged with protecting both internal and external security. I discussed this issue in the overview paper. So if I can refer to it once again, and again, this is a citation to an issue of the party journal, Revolutionary Flag, dated June 1976, which is on the case file at ERN 00067. Two eight three six zero 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 six through zero 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 six two eight 
76. In that edition of Revolutionary Dans Flag, numéro du drapeau révolutionnaire, the party leadership on peut dire que les dirigeants du parti mettent l'accent sur, et ici je cite, duty le devoir central et essentiel de l'armée révolutionnaire du Cambodge est de défendre le pays and of security domestically et la within the country. Intérieure dans le pays. End quote. Fin de citation. Thank you. Just got right. Merci. Now, is there any other comment that you want to make on the chart that is presently on our screens, or shall we uh, ask AV to turn it off? Uh, turn it off, Your Honor. Thank you. Now, in his. Um, in any of his roles, did you see any documents where Son Sen gave orders concerning internal security to military commanders? Yes, Your Honor. In my report overview of the hierarchy of democratic Kampuchea. I present many examples of documents which show Son Sen giving orders to military commanders regarding internal security. For example, um, there is a document titled Un document Minutes intitulé of the du Meeting of Secretaries de la Réunion des Secrétaires and Deputy Secretaries secrétaires of Divisions, de division, Secretaries and Deputy Secretaries et secrétaires secrétaires of Regiments. De régiment. This document is dated Ce document date 2 August du 2 août 1976. 1976. And it is on the case file at ERN 0, 0, through 18, 39, 59, 0, 0, 1, 8, 3, 9, 6, 1. À 61. In this document, Dans ce document, Son Sen is quoted as saying, On cite Son Sen. In carrying out the duty of defending the country, pour, uh, it is imperative to think in terms of fending off enemies, both external and internal. But Mais it is especially important il est to pay important attention to fending off the enemy de that is boring qui from within. This means Cela signifie it is imperative il est to pay attention to purging no good elements completely from the party, the core organizations, and our male and female combatants et et within the Revolutionary Army. Thus, we have evidence in this document des éléments of de Son Sen dans ce document, ordering his military commanders to carry out purges de procéder à des purges throughout the army dans and the party. Et dans les rangs du parti.
Do you have other references you wish to make in relation to this question, Dr. Etchison? Otherwise, we'll adjourn now at the President's request and resume tomorrow morning. That document should be adequate to make the point, I think, Your Honor. Thank you, Dr. Etchison. Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur Etchison. Monsieur President. The President, the President uh, Judge Levin, would you like to make any comments? Nous avons une difficulté en ce sens que nous avons des références avec des numéros de RN de documents en anglais. Il serait mon avis utile qu'on puisse avoir l'ensemble des références dans les trois langues, surtout s'agissant de documents especially for documents, sont en Cambodian, en most of originale. which are in Khmer, Il in the original. In my si view, it would si also be useful for us to know whether the document D has chose, a D number, si un document qui est joint or whether it is attached to the introductory submission, dans le réquisitoire introductif, in which case it will have a ce qui nous permettrait in the à tout le moins de pouvoir accéder which would plus facilement aux documents qui sont évoqués et euh, utilisés par l'expert. Ceci pour faciliter This les débats, je pense, pour l'ensemble des parties. The President, uh, Mr. François Mr. Rose, Rose to take the floor. Oui, Monsieur le Président, Mr. on pourrait également Mr. President, pour faciliter le travail, in order to facilitate demander à l'expert de citer quelle est la note à laquelle il se réfère, puisque dans son rapport, cite the note he refers il to a versé un certain nombre de documents document selon des numéros file, et qui sont à la suite de son rapport. That follow si donc, his report. Euh, il pouvait avoir so la gentillesse quand il parle d'un so document de when nous he donner refers la, to le numéro de la note he should give euh, us qui, the end note number, qui informe sur ce document, nous pourrions le retrouver plus facilement it would dans make it nos trois langues in the three languages. Ce qu'on appelle la note de bas de page. Il this y a is what 335 notes de bas de page. Et donc en fait 335 documents qui sont annexés au rapport which means par ces numéros on peut facilement les retrouver. Et si on utilise ces nombres, ce serait facile pour nous de trouver les documents. The President, uh, Judge uh, Silva-Katra, you the take the floor. Dr. Etchison, uh, are you able to do that for the future and also provide us with the other references for the ERN numbers you have given today, which refer to the English version only? Your Honor, it, it would be um, easy for me to, in many cases, refer to a footnote number uh, in the overview de faire report. De um, page qui dans I le would que établi. add that although there uh, are, uh, however many uh, counsel has cited um, ailleurs, 300 and some il y a Footnotes plus de 300 de pages. Um, uh, comme l'a dit le Conseil de la Défense, documents, mais certaines de ces notes de pages one. renvoient plus d'un document. Uh, be that as it may, I can make an effort to Je m'efforce donc de fournir document numbers le numéro, and ERNs de la pièce au dossier, ainsi que uh, for les all three ERN languages dans les trois langues, for the various documents uh, I refer to. 
auquel je ferai encore um, référence. Uh, try to make that available to the court to provide to the parties. Fournir ces références à la chambre. Thank you very parties. much, Dr. Richardson. Merci. Juge Cartwright, merci beaucoup, Monsieur Richardson. The president. The president. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Craig Atchison. Since uh, it is time to adjourn for the afternoon session, pour cet uh, we would uh, resume the session tomorrow, and demain. we would like you to come back to the courtroom Et je vous tomorrow. Invite, uh, Monsieur à revenir demain. The court is adjourned now, and the same session will be resumed tomorrow at 9 a.m. The participants and the parties Les to the proceedings are advised uh, to come to the courtroom by that time. À prendre place avant 9 heures. The security personnel, please. Uh, Take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him, bringing him in by that time. The court is adjourned.